All right, Shalom, Yashwala, peace, Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and has taught us this truth. And also peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out there laboring truth and sincerity in the four corners of the earth under the standard and the banner of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakadash. All right, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who people ignorantly call God. Bahashim is in the name, Yahweh Shah being the name of our Lord and Savior, uh, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. All right, Bahashim once again is in the name, Rakaq Kodash is the Holy Spirit. All right, and that was said in the Lashwan Kodash, which is the Holy Tongue, which is the Paleo Hebrew, and the Paleo goes back to the ancient Hebrew. All right, and this is Brother Karab here from the GMS Boston Camp, and just want to go into a quick lesson, and Lord's will let this lesson be edifying. All right, and... You know, this is all through the spirit. You know, and um you know, earlier today, you know, I was out and I had a conversation with a Jake, you know. Uh and the topic came up of um, you know, the Black Lives Matter and um you know, it started with the Black Lives Matter and it started going into a matter of the, like different uh going deeper into the conversation. And then he asked, the guy asked, like, what is the solution? What do you, what do I think is the solution to um, what's going on in the world? All right? And I told him, you know, first and foremost, I told him that my foundation and things that I believe in is strictly from the, the Holy Scriptures, from the Bible. So he got an understanding of where I was coming from because I told him, that it's gonna that, that everything I'm speaking of is uh, my foundation is the scriptures. So when he asked that, I I answered him and said, um, uh, it, the solution in order to fix the problem that's happening in the world, we need a new rulership. We need a, a new power structure. We need a, 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 the breaking down of the society and the, the infrastructure today that Babylon was built upon. And we need a new foundation, all right? As the scripture says um, in Second Peter's, which I'm going to grab real quick, all right? Three and 13 says, uh, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, all right? And that's, and that's the solution. The solution is... Uh, 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 um, you know, that new heaven and that new earth which were in dwell of righteousness, man. You know, but as the conversation continued to go on, he kept mentioning how, he kept mentioning how, uh, you know, our people are ignorant. You know, he said ignorance is bliss, you know, and some people don't look into what's going on and they don't want to look into what's going on. So they can just continue to live in their life and live it up to the be the best way that they can. And I told them personally, I told them, you know, uh, that 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 that's not a wise way to go about it. All right, that's not a wise way to look at life, you know, because for you as a man, or this is this is this is, uh, you know. To the guy, you know, the guy that I was having a conversation with, the Jake that I was having a conversation with before, for anyone to have that mindset, for you as a man to think of a scenario or situation that is taking place and not want to know uh, what's going on is just a foolish way of going about it, all right? It is it is set up, it's happening for a reason, and you got to and you gotta want to know what's going on and understand what is the reason. And also, if there's an escape route, how can you avoid what's happening? All right. So mainly, he he just told me he's like you know to end it off. He just told me that you know he's just gonna continue uh you know not you know what I'm saying not digging deep into those things because he mentioned conspiracy theories. He said, "Oh, you you one of those conspiracy theories." And I told him, "No, nah, I just I'm like it's not a conspiracy when these things are actually happening." All right, and you know it goes into saying um before before you know we parted ways, he said, um, 
you know, he's going to continue to, uh, you know, not look into, not dig too deep into looking to uh, what's going on because some of it's facts and he don't know what to believe. But, hey, man, that's the mindset of Jake, man, you know, and, you know, uh, it's, 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 it's sad that our people think like that because that's going to be the ruins of them. That's what's going to, that's what's going to take them out. And I got another precept. Was there four and six, and it reads, "My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children." All right. The scripture says that 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 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. All right. There's a, the, the saying goes, in the age of information, ignorance is a choice. All right. That all this isn't just happening for no reason. All right, and 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 it's not happening for you to not not uh care about it. You know, not care about what's going on because it involves every last one of us. It involves uh you whether you believe it or not. You know, whether your life uh, it, 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 it is like whether it's uh for instance like you know these police brutality. It affects our people, even if it's not happening to them. Because look, who who are the main people that are getting jacked up by the cops? It's, it's Jake. All right. So now, when you look into not just only that, like for instance, World War Three, these war games that are going on, you should be concerned about it because look, when you have countries like Iran and Russia and China threatening to 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 bomb drop nukes on this place, uh, which is America. Such as uh, another another country, North Korea. We have um, countries talking about dropping nukes and retaliating and revenging, you know, uh, making these moves. And you see that, you know, uh, they're, 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 they're doing uh, drills. Hey, man, you got to be concerned. Uh, you got to, you know what I mean, meditate on it because or, or somewhat want to know what's going on because guess what? You live in America. All right. And I told them... One thing I told him, I told him, I told him this before he ended up leaving or being uh, parting ways. I told him straight up, like, hey, man, listen, one thing I can tell you is after I told him that this infrastructure has to be broken now, one thing I will tell you is that this place is going to get burned with nuclear fire. And that's when he like, that's when he can stop the conversation. It's like, all right, all right. Now, you know, like that basically it was it was too heavy for him. Basically, he didn't want to know about it because he didn't know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jake don't know a way out. But that's why the scriptures are here. All right? And, but once again, you know, our people believe the Bible is a white man book. Or they come up with every excuse in the book to not want to believe and follow suit with the scriptures. Because if you follow suit, if you believe in the Bible, that means you have to stand on the principles of the Bible. You got to stand on what the Bible is speaking. And a lot of people don't want to take that initiative. They don't want to, uh, 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 you know, go in, uh, take that step into to, to, to getting into the scriptures because it requires a lot. You know, scripture says much is given, uh, much is required. All right. So, you know, but... Uh, it's just just to go into the topic of the show. It's just mainly, oh man, our people don't know what is to come, all right. And, and it's sad because you know, as all this is happening in the world, they don't know what's to come. And the time to come is going to be a very dark time, man. It's going to be a troublesome time, all right. And to be caught off guard is the worst way to be caught, or worst way to get go through something. You know, just like someone that gets punched, uh, 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 you know, someone that gets punched in the face and they didn't see it coming. Hey, man, they're more liable of getting knocked out than um, actually, uh, Salaki, bear with me, than they're actually, uh, um, uh, they're more likely to get knocked out than for them to tense up and embrace it or, or, or roll with that punch or whatever the case is because they didn't see it coming. All right. But I got another precept. All right, this is Proverbs 22 and 3. It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evils and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. All right, 
So the prudent man, which goes, that word prudent goes back to wise. A wise man will foresee if the evil. So you pay attention to what's going on. Hey, this is why it's, uh, uh, you know, you have these uh, uh, alternative news media outlets. All right. You know, you see what's going on. And also, once again, the scriptures. All right. You link up the, the prophecies of what's happening to, in, in the world today. All right. He says a prudent man foresee if the evil and hide himself. And, and how is he going to hide himself? All right. To know that these things is happening, you have to uh, they, 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 you have to figure out if there's a possible way for an escape, and there is a way for an escape because the Lord says this, right? Um, all right, it says Proverbs eighteen and ten. It says the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it. And it's safe, all right? So what are they going to be safe though, safe from? What are they going to be safe from? They're going to be safe from the impending destruction that's to come. They're going to be safe from the calamities that is going to fall upon this earth, man. To fall upon this place, Babylon, which is America in the scriptures, all right? You know? So it's showing you, you know, this is, this, this is how you find your way out. But going back to that precept, all right, bear with me. says this, um, Proverbs 22 and 3 says, A prudent man foresee the evil and hide it himself, but the simple pass on are punishing, you know. In that time, in that day when you wasn't expecting anything and you just living your life, you know, and, 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 and it happens to be in front of your doorstep, you have uh, uh, Gerga troops, you know, martial law out there, civil unrest, lawlessness. You know, pestilence running rampant. You know, uh, you know what else? Um, the love of many waxing cold. People out here killing one another for lack of bread. You know, uh, you know these these troops uh trying to force va vaccinate the people, stick people with this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Hey man, when this is presented to you in that time and you wasn't getting ready. That's what, man. You're through, man. You're gonna get destroyed. You're gonna get, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be bad on you, on your behalf. All right. And 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 now that I say that, there's a, a precept. Second Ezra nine. All right. And it says this. All right. And this is the purpose why this word has to be pushed on the four corners of the earth because it gives, it gives everyone in Israel, it gives every Israelite a chance. To repent, all right. The Lord is making it known and making His word known to the whole world. That way, that you have a chance to repent, all right. This goes for you, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians, all right. And also, you have the Israelites that are gathered, uh, that are scattered amongst the other nation. You know, that may look like the other nations, but their line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right. Which are Israelites through their, uh, through, you know, through their, their lineage. All right. So this is the purpose of why the Lord is pushing uh, this, this this word is spreading across the four corners of the earth. Because, listen, this has to reach everybody. And the Lord's given everyone a chance to repent. Hence why he said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. So I'm going to read. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm sure I'll jump straight to the point. Yeah, I'm going to just jump straight to the point. And it says, 2 Ezra 9 and, uh, and 6. It says, Even so the time also the highest have plain beginning in, in wonders and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. And we see some, we see the signs. All right? Do you not see the signs? All right? And it says, in endings in effects and signs. So we see the signs. The Lord laid out the blueprint. What are some of the signs? Uh, uh, you know? Uh, um, pestilence, earthquakes, famines, you know, you have these plagues that are coming upon the earth, you got the locust plague, the locust infestation, all right, you have China right now, which is flooding all, going crazy, you know, you have, uh, what is it, in Lebanon, they have, a, 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 you know, man, it, it, what is it, hyperinflation, all right? which that right there is a famine, that's, is a, that's gonna cause a famine itself, you know, because the price of things is skyrocket and the money is worthless. All right. So it says, um, verse seven, it says, and everyone that shall be saved 
and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. And a lot of our people lack faith. All right. Whereby you have believe, because they don't believe in the scriptures. They don't believe in the words in Yahweh Hashem They don't believe that, you know, this is going to continue on or this is going to happen in their lifetime. All right. This is verse eight. Shall be preserved from the said perils and see my salvation in my land. So in the people that are going to get saved, I'm going to read verse seven again. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. All right. It shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land. All right. So the said perils, what is it? Perilous time. Let me get that real quick. And I'm going to jump back. Ah, uh, Salakia. Yeah. Right. And this is um it says Second Timothy three and one and it says this know also that in the last days perilous time shall come. Alright. So so the perilous times it's on its way, man. It's actually here. Alright, and let's look up that word perils, uh Let's look at perilous. Just bear with me real quick. Strong's G fifty four sixty seven. Chalepas. Chalepas. Huh. And it says chalepas. And it says hard to do, to take, to approach. Hard to bear, troublesome, dangerous, harsh, fierce, uh, savage. All right. This is perhaps from G5465 through the idea of reducing the strength, difficult, dangerous, by implication, furious, fierce, perilous. All right. Once again, troublesome, dangerous times, man. Hard to bear. All right. It's going to be so hard in these times to come. That you're going to need a savior. You're going to need someone to help you get through that time. And this is not no physical man that's going to, that's, that's liable of helping you. You need, you need strength. You need salvation from on high, man. Hence why Daniel's 12 and 1 says this. All right. And it says, and at that time, Daniel 12 and 1, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, once again, we're on to synonymous with uh, uh, perilous, it says, a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. So there's going to be a time of trouble like never before. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. All right, so even Michael the archangel has to stand up for, for the Lord's chosen, for the elect in that time. All right, so showing you, man, this time is going to be, uh, it's going to be very wild, man. It's going to be beyond uh, what people can fathom. All right, so, 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 so the way that you escape that is by your faith, by the works, and, 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 and by you believing in Yahweh Shem El Shah. All right. That's how you're going to be able to, and, and doing the things that, which is pleasing unto him by getting right and repenting, you know, and trying to follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, and just mainly holding on to your faith, man. All right? And verse 8 again, it says, Shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case which have abused my ways, all right, they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. All right, and then they have, and they that have loathed my law while they yet they had yet liberty. All right, and it goes back to that conversation I had with the dude. He said he didn't want to know. He didn't want to know because in order for you to know how to escape, you gotta know. You gotta you gotta get right with the Lord. You gotta know the scriptures. You wanna you gotta. This is this is the truth, man. This is the truth of of, 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 of the matter, all right? 
because the same person that's bringing, the same ones that's bringing the destruction to the world is the same one that's liable of getting, uh, delivering you out of it, which is Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And now you have to follow that standard of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in order to, to, to get right. But Jake don't want to do that. All right. So it says, Then shall there be in pitiful case which have abused my ways, and they that, they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. All right. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty, chance to go out. They just want to live their life and do do do, do whatever they want. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Alright? So whenever people hear, oh, about once you once you in, introduce the Bible into your conversation, a lot of people, you know, and I say a lot because you know, we understand that two thirds is, is a is a is a large number. It's a large percentage. All right, they're not gonna they're not gonna get it. They're not gonna they're not gonna uh, uh, hearken unto the words of Yahweh Shah. All right, you're gonna have a this is this is this is for a small sanctuary. You're gonna have a you have one third, which is a smaller number than two third. All right, so the majority of our people, so called blacks, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indian, the Israelites, you know, they're not gonna take heed, and they because they live in the life that they want to live, they they enjoy this this wicked uh world, man, this wicked rulership, because they have the liberty to do the, the things that they want. All right, and it says, and when when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, this understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. So eventually you're gonna get it, but they're just gonna have to deal with what the consequences is. All right. They're going to have to deal with the consequences. And the consequences is, hey, what the scripture says, the wages of sin is death. All right. So they're going to have to deal with the consequences. But eventually, they're going to know. All right. And and, 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 and that's when they're going to realize it's too late. It's too late. When that situation is, 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 is right in front of them, death is right there staring them in the face. Hey, man, that's when they're going to try to repent. They're going to try to uh, ask the Lord to forgive them. But guess what, man? They're gonna have to know it because they 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 low they 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 despise Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. The scripture also says to turn it away of the simple. Let me get that real quick. This is um here you go. It says Proverbs one and twenty two. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorners if fools hate knowledge? Turn you at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you. Because I have because I have called and you refused, and I stretched out my hands, and no man regarded. Alright? But ye have set at not all my counsel and would not of my reproof. Alright? What they're gonna do once again is they're gonna refuse uh, uh to take heed to what's being said. They're gonna refuse to take heed to the message. And this is uh, verse 26. I will also will laugh at your calamities and I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and, distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. It says, They shall seek me early, but sh they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruits of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. For the turning away of the simple, all right, that's what's going to slay them. That's what's going to get them in, 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 in a bad case. That's what's going to get them on the bad terms where you help out Shema Shah. All right, it says, For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Verse 33. Alright. Now this is the way out. That they don't that if they give if they gave an ear and they gave time, this is this is, this is what they would know. Alright. And it says, But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Alright. And, and 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 hey man, that's that's exactly what it's gonna be. Alright, you hearken unto Yah Bashim El Shah. You're in good standards with Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. You're gonna be protected. You're gonna be safe in these times to come. But for those that don't want to take heed and 
don't want to be ignorant to what's going on, hey, so be it, man. You know, as they say, you ain't just live your best life, you know, because it was going to come is it, it, going to be uh, 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 bigger than what you can imagine, bigger than any movie can show. All right. So Lord's will that this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakadash, double honest to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well once again, and also peace and salutations to the old fool. Let that one say Shalom and the Baba Ba. Call me Asherah.